everyone and welcome to another how to session and today we're going to be talking about how to network for success and what do i mean by networking i mean like when you go to events and you want to meet new people or you want to grow your business expand your business or get uh, leads um, new clients and customers this is a kind of networking we're talking about so it's a lot of uh, business talk here but I will try to make it as easy um, and simple for you to understand uh, so that you can right away start practicing this tip so tip number one identify your networking goals do you want to have more business to business uh, relationships more business to client relationships or are you looking to nurture long-lasting partnerships what is your networking goal and this is really important and key to determine before you go to this event or before you start networking before you put yourself out there what is it that you want from your networking actions tip two sign up or register for events online or near you that pique your interest or that resonate with your goals or resonate with the reason that you want to go network one of the best ways actually to to find uh, events to network at is events bright you can go and sign up and look at the events and see around your area or your locality what is happening and what would be something you would be interested to be a part of i like to look for events that are focused on climate change climate finance investments fundraising you get the point so those are the kind of events i would go to and that we would sign up for me and my husband but you may have other things you're interested you might be interested in the arts or agriculture or fashion like it's up to you so you can just go uh, to the events uh, on events bright and look and see by category what events you would like to attend some are free some have to be paid for but I mean you, you can always start with the free ones and see how that goes and sometimes the free ones are actually really really good so like don't have a stiff upper lip about it just because it's a free event it probably might be a great place to find the people you're looking to connect with three dress appropriately even if it's an online event which most of the events are right now make the effort to dress up to look your best uh, because people will be judging you and most of these events you're required to actually be on camera so why not why not dress you know nicely like don't go onto zoom or whichever app that is being used and dress up in your pajamas not having any uh, makeup or not looking fresh like dress to impress so that people want to reach out to you and want to network with you respect them too because they are making the effort to be there and to dress up as well it might be a chore for some of you but it's really important if you want to be successful you have to dress the part success just doesn't fall down from the sky you kind of have to make an effort you know be respectful during events listen more than you speak people appreciate when others are listening to them they appreciate being hard they don't want to be talked down to all the time sometimes they just want someone to listen to their opinion and if you're there sure you may be burning to answer every single question that's posted or that's asked or if you have an opportunity if it's a if, if it's a physical event and there there are opportunities to ask speakers don't be the one to ask all the questions all the time or answer all the questions all the time because then people will just think you're the kind of person who is full of themselves and who doesn't want to give others a chance and when you are in a networking area the reception listen like listen to people's stories you might get inspired but people will also like the fact that you're actually listening to them because you've been maybe two or three hours in a session and they've just been listening to other people and they want to be with someone who can listen to what they thought about the event and you never know you might just strike a conversation with someone and it could lead somewhere so be open-minded and 
try not to talk too much <laughs> I mean talk but don't overdo it you know what I mean right reach out to valuable conversations during the event if it's a virtual event sometimes they have side chats uh, you can reach out through that I know that Rova has the ability to do that and I recently attended uh, the Children and Nature Network's um, event it was really nice they used Wolva and from there you were able to like look at other people's uh, other attendees like profiles and write to them and ask them if you could have a side chat with them or talk to them and that's a good way to network even if it's not physical but if you're in a physical space it's like walking up to people during coffee and tea breaks and lunch breaks and just like talking you know asking them hey so what did you think about this figure or this topic and hearing what they have to say and and giving you a point of view and just like kicking off that conversation and having that kind of interaction with someone is a good way to network because then you get to know where the both of you stand and if you know you you share some similarities or if maybe they're not like the right connection for you but you won't know that if you don't talk to them so yeah make the effort to do so and now this is a really important one and it's one that I learned the hard way is share your contacts purposefully and purposefully being the keyword you don't have to have everyone's business card and you don't have to give your business cards to everyone that's just not the best way I mean people do it I used to do it but it's not the best way to network because sometimes you're giving your your business cards out to people who will never reach out to you do not have any sort of uh, similar views or business goals like you or who just aren't interested and they're just there just because they just want your card to fill up their database but then you then if you give up give out all your cards and then you end up meeting someone who you know for sure needed to have your card you're going to feel a little bit bummed out that you gave out your cards and didn't save one for this one special person who you clearly have a connection with and who can uh, be valuable to your business growth so be careful how you give out your cards like I would say follow the first five tips I gave which is like first interact with them get to know what their similarities what their values are what their goals are if you have similarities if you agree on certain things or not then is when you can offer your card but don't just right on the bat offer your card you're going to it's going to be wasteful and you need to be very purposeful when you're networking because not everyone matters and sometimes one person can connect you to five other people so you have to be very purposeful how you connect with people um, and how you share your information you know don't just splash it out or just give it out to people be purposeful about it it will pay off follow up through email or just follow up <laughs> like but firstly follow up through email I think that's especially if you have their cards it's always good to like uh, a day or a week after the event write to them and say how grateful you are to have met them and listen to their story that you appreciated their story and you liked the similarities that you had and you'd like to to stay in touch with them or keep the conversation going to see how uh, you and their organization or company can work together on some common goals it's always good to like do a follow-up because if you don't it's going to go cold you know like it, maybe it was a hot lead and then because you didn't follow up it's just gonna die out and they're gonna forget you because there's so many events out there so many people out there they interact with so many different things every single day and if you don't check in or do something for them to to trigger them to remember you then they're just gonna forget you and that's gonna be a bit sad and probably not good for your business too especially if it was a potential client or partner or funding stay in touch after you've done like the follow-up stay in touch you can stay in touch through social media or you can do virtual events uh, virtual coffees I mean you can do virtual coffees or you can uh, call them up or text them like just stay in touch with them find out how they are from time to time and please don't 
bombard them with messages like just because you sent a message today you're expecting it the same day or the day after is not the way it works you have to give room for your that relationship to actually grow so you have to take the time to allow them to respond to you properly because if they respond out of haste then you know that they don't really actually care about whatever it is that you're selling them or t telling them about but if they respond to you like after a couple of days then you know either they were busy and they just wanted to make time to respond meaningfully and and that's the only either if they respond immediately and hastily then you know that they are well maybe they're busy and they just want to get that off their plate so like be give them room like check in on them but give them room and then as the as the uh, relationship grows I'm talking about the business relationship as it grows and they grow to trust you because they have to grow to trust you they can't trust you if you don't get in touch with them and they can't grow to trust you if you don't allow them to get to know you so and that takes time so you have to be patient but you also have to be professional about it and just let it take its course naturally like don't try to force it it never goes right when you force it and just be be the be the kind of person they want to work with. Remain valuable to the people who are in your network. You can do this by, when the time is right, collaborating with them. You can also share resources with them. You can share tips with them. You can recommend them. You can give them a good review on LinkedIn if you guys are connected. Just remain valuable. Don't be a dud. As people say, don't be a dud. Like, be someone who they want to have within their network because they know that you're the kind of person who gets things done or knows people who get things done or is reliable or who is responsible or who delivers like be valuable be the go-to for them for something even if it's just one thing just be the go-to for them and and they will want to work with you more and more then lastly obviously is assess your assess your networking goals every month at the end of every month just assess where you are now where you were before and where you want to be and if it even means reading out some of the networks you don't need by all means do it because if it doesn't feed your growth if it doesn't feed your professional growth or your business growth or even your personal growth then you have no business letting it take up your time because time is precious and i say this and it may sound selfish but it is the truth time is precious you don't want to waste your time chasing a dead end or letting other people or other situations take up time that you really can't spare or that does nothing for you or for your network so assess that and I'm pretty sure by the end of the assessment you'll have a, a good enough idea where you are and where you want to be so yeah those are the tips I have for you um, from my experience obviously and I hope that helps you grow your network create a valuable network and remember your network is your net worth